that great, but I want to try to knock out the last little few sections I've got um, on the southern end of the Penhody Trail, closest to my house, so that when the weather cools off and the, the fall rolls in, I can uh, focus on the last upper section before I hit the Georgia line. So I can get the Alabama section. Hopefully, finish up the Alabama portion this year. All right. So I've been on the trail about 40 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe. And um, stop to get a little snack and some water. But it's um, been nice so far. A little breeze. Uh, temperature's pretty good. It's uh, 75 degrees at the moment. And a nice breeze. So it's a great day. In the fall or winter, when the leaves are down, this would be a great overlook. Can't really see. I don't know if you can see through the trees there, but the ridge line is out through those trees, out that way and over that way. But uh, it's a nice little overlook up here. The trail takes a left right back there and heads on down that way, but. It's got a nice little spot to take a break and enjoy the view. I'm going to assume that that's from a horse. But let's hope that if it's not from a horse, I don't run into what other, whatever other kind of animal is out here. So if you're heading south, like me, you'll come across this log water tenth of a mile it's right down there it's yellow blazed all the way down it's pretty steep um, but there was a spring at the base of a tree and it's flowing pretty good cool little rock formations and overhangs along here kind of neat up to the left of the trail if you're headed south Pretty cool. Kind of reminiscent of some of the stuff up around Chihaw. Ah, starting to get a few views off in the distance through the trees. I don't know if it makes out on the camera, but you can see the Ridge line across the valley over there. Pretty nice view through the tree, through the trees. Be a lot better when the leaves drop in fall and winter. But uh, you can make it out over there. So I believe this that I'm walking through now is the old, what the, the old rail bed, the Trammel, Trammel Way, I think it's, I don't know, I may look that up and see, but this is uh, where they kind of blasted through some rock to lay a railway section. So it's just a short piece, I'm coming to the end of it now, but maybe, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards of it. And then, uh, it opens back up into the, the forest road there.
All right, I'm stopped for the for the night and set up camp here. I am right behind or just off the Trammel Trailhead parking area, which is back over behind me, 100 yards or so. And the Trammel Trailhead signboard is straight through the woods over there. I can see it probably three or 400 yards away, the top of it. So I'm right in that general area. Uh, I'm gonna fix some dinner here in just a little bit. Did 12 miles. 11, I guess it was 11.8 from Bulls Gap to here. And then I uh, had a couple of little jaunts off trail to get water a time or two. So it added up to 12 according to, or 12.1 I think, according to the watch. I uh, got the, the War Bonnet El Dorado hammock under there and a an underground, underground quilt company. Uh, Seal Poly tarp uh, is my setup for tonight. I use this tarp most of the time. It's I think it's an 11 foot tarp, and it's Seal Poly. It's pretty lightweight. All right, so for dinner this fine evening, for, we have good to go Thai curry. Uh, let's see what's in it. It has got green beans, jasmine rice, onion, broccoli, cauliflower, peas, coconut milk powder, uh, fish sauce, garlic, grapeseed oil, lemongrass, brown sugar, and a bunch of weird things that I can't pronounce. So we're going to just go with that. I do have some premium white chicken with applewood smoked flavor that I may add to give it a little bit more protein and then a Nestle coffee crisp for dessert. All right, we're gonna try this Thai curry from good to go. I did add the chicken into it, so it doesn't come with chicken, but I added that, but we're gonna give this a try. That's good. Yeah, it's got a little punch to it, a little bit of spice. But, um, man, it's good flavor. The Thai curry from Good to Go is good to go. All right, we're all packed up. So, I'm going to head up to the road here and uh, walk down to the parking lot. And I believe there's some water stash there. So I'm going to go grab that and then um, make my plans for the day. Alrighty. On the trail, or should I say on the road. Uh, got all road walk today, but I think I might change, a little change of plans. I, my, I've got some tendonitis in my right ankle and thought it had gotten a lot better but I struggled the last half of yesterday with it and uh, I've got it wrapped in a, a lace-up brace so that helps but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna push because I got like 11 or 12 11 miles 12 miles something like that for the day and I can already feel it wearing on me so I think what I'm gonna do is walk about two miles ish and then uh, get Nathan from the uh, outdoor center to pick me up at one of the road crossings and then I'll come back and probably be able to do the what's left of the road one day in the future and if anything changes I'll check back in I don't expect to see anything interesting much on this walk so if I don't talk to you again I appreciate you coming along with me and then hope you enjoyed the video found something interesting in it and as the weather cools off I'm planning on uh, doing a few more hikes pending ankle and knee pain uh, try to knock out another section north of this uh, section of hike yesterday and then I'll be done with everything for the first 
E. Actually, after I do that, I think I'll have the first hundred ish or so miles done. And then I'll have about 50, 40 or 50 miles left after that to finish the Alabama section. So I'm hoping to uh, figure out a way to finish that in the fall or early part of the winter. But I'm going to sign off for this trip. Thanks a lot for, for coming along with me again. And we will see you on the next one. Dogs have been awakened. The first one was way up at the house. And he wasn't coming out to the road. But he barked at me. And now I hear the other ones are awake. So let's hope they all decide to keep it up by the house and not come out and chase. One of the joys of walking the roads. I don't know why, but crossing railroad tracks is kind of cool on the road walks. <laughs>